question that I want you to write down. Have I ever put goals on uh, a paper, a paper, and I'm like, okay, today I want to make 50 calls, and at the end of the day, you have not reached your goal. Has it ever happened to you? Okay, yes, yes, thank you very much. Great. Another question I want to ask you is, what happens when bad news hits you? Uh, do you react out of emotion, or do you react out of faith? The way you're going to react, writing down this question, when something bad happens to you, how do you react? It could be anything. You could be getting bad news, um, whatever the case may be. Something bad happens. It's not supposed to be happening today. It happens. How do you react? Do you react out of your emotion or do you react out of faith? That gauge will give you a great indication of where you're at in your spiritual maturity. So this is very important, okay? So you could rate yourself on a scale from one to 10 to see where you're at. So you could just write down the question, it's gonna be in your subconscious and we'll get back to it later. So the question is, how do we react, right? We think we're having a great day, something happens, something happens, something happens, then boom, something negative happens and it messes up your day and the event just lasted about two seconds. Um, take a step back, breathe, assess the situation and not try to react emotionally. Exactly. So you want to react in a way that serves you, whether you react emotionally when you're on emotion, it's fight or flight. Uh, and if you react spiritually with faith, well, then you know that whatever happens to you is there to, to show you something, to teach you something. So it always happens for you and not to you. OK, so um, I want to share a story with you. OK, there's this man, John. John works super hard. He's a workaholic, in fact. He works for a big company. He's got a big house. He works nonstop. John comes home one night. It's dark. He gets into his house. He opens the door. He reaches out for the light switch. He drops his keys. He opens the light, but he can't find the light. The light is burnt. There's no more lights in the house, and it's super dark. He cannot find his keys. He's looking everywhere, and he's like, looking through the window as he's searching for his keys and he sees a light outside of his house down the street and he goes, oh, there's light outside. Let me go look for my keys. So he gets out of his house again and he starts looking for his keys because he saw a light. So he starts looking and looking and looking and looking and looking. His neighbor comes out and he goes, hey, John, you've been looking for like five minutes. What are you looking for? He goes, oh, thank you, neighbor. Uh, maybe you can help me. I'm looking for my keys. And there's a little bit of light here, so I was hoping to find them. And he goes, okay, I'll help you look for your keys. But he goes, John, I can't find your keys. Do you know where you might have dropped them? John turns to his neighbor and he goes, yeah, I, I dropped them inside my house. So the neighbor goes, okay, wait, John, you're telling me you dropped your keys inside your house and it was too dark for you to find them so you went outside where you saw some light to look for your keys very dazzled he goes i don't understand and john obviously what he's trying to do this is where the message is in life things are going to happen to us and they create a reaction internally and we don't feel good and some people feel angry, sadness, a whole bunch of emotions, disappointment, um, discouragement. So when something happens on the inside, would it be foolish to say that you're going to go look for the solution on the outside instead of looking for the solution on the inside where it's actually happening? So this is where the world, everybody in the world, okay, and this is you. You are looking for something that's hurting you on the inside, on the outside. So you're looking for answers to come in because you are affected versus you here being injured on the inside. Something happened to you on your inside, emotionally, inside your heart, inside your brain. And you are not looking for answers on the outside. You are actually staying here grounded and working on the inside before going to the outside. And once you have your answers, 
then you can share them with the world. And this is also called, you know, when, um, when the world says, the world says this, if I can see it, I'll believe it. But then on the other side of the world, there's also God, the universe, artificial intelligence, emotional intelligence, um, whatever you want to call it, energy that says, believe it, and then you will see it. So this is an important passage um, that makes you understand that whatever is happening inside, you cannot find the answers outside. So it's also the same case when...